Brazil, the land of samba, cachaca, Christ the Redeemer, and of course, football. For decades, the nation has produced some of the best footballers and continues to do so. And the latest player to come out of Brazil's conveyor belt of talent is Atlético Paranense's Victor Roque. The 17-year-old Brazilian is the latest name to catch everyone's attention across the nation. Capable of playing as a second striker or on the wings, Vitor has delivered some brilliant performances and is already on the radars of several top European clubs. Along with other talented young star Enrique Filipe, Rook represents the next generation of footballers coming out of Brazil ready to take the world by storm. In this video, we will take a look at Victor's career path, style of play, and possible transfer moves in the future. Share your thoughts down in the comments below, and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Victor Roque was born on February 28, 2005 in Timoteo, Minas Gerais, a province in southeastern Brazil. From a young age, he had a keen interest in football. Vitor's footballing journey started at 10 when he joined America Mineiro's youth team. The team was one of the best in Minas Gerais, which provided the best facilities for a player to flourish. During his four-year stay at the club, Roque made quick progress within the youth ranks. However, his relationship with America Mineiro ended in 2019 when he signed for Cruzeiro. This move triggered a row between America Mineiro and Cruzeiro, with the former going to court over the transfer. Eventually, a settlement between the clubs ended the dispute, with Cruzeiro getting 65% of the players' rights, with the rest going to America Mineiro. Five months after signing for Cruzeiro, Vitor Roque made his debut as a professional footballer in the second-tier Brazilian league. He would play five matches for his team, impressing everyone with his performances. He scored his first goal in a Campeonato Mineiro match against Villanova. His impressive displays caught the attention of Atletico Paranaense. The team moved quickly to snap him up on a five-year contract and drafted him straight to the first team. To say he is one of the best young players in Brazil would be a gross understatement. The teenager has impressed not only in the National League, but also in Copa Libertadores, the continental tournament. This season, Vitor scored four goals and provided one assist in 21 games, and these are incredible numbers for a 17-year-old playing among Brazil's best. Rock also has two goals and provided two assists in six Copa Libertadores matches. These are good numbers for an established star, let alone a player as young as Vitor Rock. However, what has been even more impressive is that despite being a left-footer, three of his four goals have come from his right foot, which shows he is ambipedal. However, these are not the only traits Vitor Roque brings to the team. According to Fotmob, the player has won four penalties in the league, the most in the league so far. This is despite the fact that he has only played an average of 41 minutes per game. What this shows is his clever off-the-ball and on-the-ball movements. Vitor's success at the highest level at such a young age is not only due to his talent, but also his brilliant awareness. And a great example of this is his off-the-ball movement, especially in the attacking third. His movement is based on finding space, similar to Thomas Muller's Raumdeuter role. However, finding space is one thing, but exploiting it for good use is another. Vitor is also brilliant at holding up play, a usual trait in modern-day centre-backs, so he can score, assist, and always finds gaps in the space at 17. This makes him an extraordinary forward, but he also has other arrows in his quiver. Apart from all the aforementioned skills, Rock is also very fast, and at the same time has immense physical strength. His pace and physicality are why he won four penalties for his team, and why more often than not, fouling him was the only way to stop him. While Vitor may be getting the entire Brazil on their feet with his beautiful play, he remains an unfinished product. More often than not, Rock tries to do it alone, snuffing out the team's attack. Thus, it looks like he will remain for a season or two at Atletico Paranense, or at least change teams, but stay in the Brazilian league. However, if reports are to be believed, the teenager is on the radar of two clubs that play each other in the famous El Clasico derby. Barcelona and Real Madrid have always emphasized talent from South America, and as a result, the clubs have had great success signing gems from the continent, including Messi, Suarez, Casemiro, and the Champions League final hero Vincius Jr., to name a few. 
and now it's reported that the two clubs will be fighting it out to sign the talented youngster. For a 17-year-old player, that right there is the most significant approval of his immense talent. In this video, we've taken a closer look at Brazilian youngster Vitor Roque's career and playing style. What do you think about his potential? Will he be able to move to the elite clubs of European football and fulfill his promise? Share your thoughts down in the comments below and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel.